Hey, what's going on? Welcome to my house. Come on in. Normally, I do my videos right here in the office with all the fishing gear with my comfort zone. But today, I have a very special video. Today, I'm making my favorite dish to make, fish soup. And today, we're going to be doing that in the kitchen. So come on with me. Welcome to my kitchen. This is where I prepare 90% of the food that I eat. Today we're gonna to be making fish soup using Baqueta grouper, bone-in, and I wanna give a shout out to Miss Ayel Martinez and the Fish Arms Sports Fishing Outfit out of Bahia de Los Angeles, Bay of LA, uh, for making sure that when we went down there, we had a good time and we caught some good fish and this is where it goes. So to start off with the ingredients, I like to only use like two potatoes, but I use chicken bouillon, oregano. Um, I have some paprika, uh, some sea salt, uh, black pepper, uh, sliced angled carrots. I use green onions, two whole onions, green bell peppers, celery, cilantro, and parsley. Um, I like to use chicken bone broth, and I cook down two smoked turkey sausages with my diced tomatoes and onions before I start the broth. I also use mushrooms, sun-dried tomatoes, whole garlic, ginger, basil, fresh basil, not dry, but I use dry bay leaves. So that is the base for my fish soup. So I'm gonna start breaking all this down and getting getting it ready to go in the pot. So I'll see you guys then. Cut it to size, lightly seasoned. I'm going to put them in the pan with some olive oil just to brown them on the outside a little bit. And then I'm going to set them to the side and begin making the soup. And we got some color going. And the pan is still there. And for the bowl, so I can win. Add your ginger, onions, diced tomatoes, garlic, sun-dried tomatoes, basil, bay leaves, and all your seasoning. Stir for about three minutes. Then you want to add some carrots. And your broth. Alright everybody, 
everybody. We've been cooking for about 45 minutes now. Everything's in the pot. Um, come in, get a closer look. So the fish, I browned it a little bit. You see the, all the juices and stuff? That's very important. Don't pour that away. We're going to add that to the soup a little later when we poach uh, the fish in the soup. So for right now, everything's cooking down. You can see the bay leaves floating, the mushrooms. Everything is going to break down. You're going to have the tomatoes, the sun-dried tomatoes. You got the mushrooms, the celery, the potatoes. We're just going to boil this until the potatoes are, are tender. Once the potatoes are tender, that's going to be our indication to poach the fish. So once we get there, sometimes it may take a little longer. You can always add some water and let it boil down until you get the potatoes to a tender uh, state then you can add the fish and then you let it simmer for about 15 minutes after that and then boom your soup is done as you see the color starting to take form that's a quality soup right there okay now i added the fish about 15 minutes ago and turned the fire off and let it poach as you can see, the fish is starting to fall apart. It's nice and tender. Potatoes are tender. That's the perfect soup. Now what I like to do is now the soup is ready. I always keep some cilantro and green onions diced. So when I make a serving in the bowl, I add a little bit as garnish. It tastes really good, fresh. And there you have it. Start to finish, Bagetta Grouper Soup. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It's been a pleasure, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Got a taste test. It's a hit. Mm -hmm.